Hi again. Um, I had a few people ask me while I was playing War Thunder um, what kind of cockpit I set up for it. Um, and since I play on the PS4, it's not usually uh, too many people who set up uh, flight sims for PS4, but War Thunder is a pretty fun game. So what I did is I built a uh, sim rig using MDF and I uh, used the instructions from a company called Quick Pit. It's pretty simple. You only need one sheet of MDF to make this. It's about the size of a, um, I don't know, like a recliner, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, pretty easy to build, not a lot of um, tough cuts to make. I've rounded off a few corners and a few things like that just to make it uh, look a little better. Then I painted it black with some gray, kind of military. I put a couple decals on it. Um, I've got the uh, Thrustmaster HOTUS um, 4. I've got the rudder pedals from Thrustmaster. I've got the multi-function displays. I use those as but, uh, basically a button box. And what I do with that is I can set flaps, um, landing gear, all that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully when Ace Combat comes out, I'll be needing most of those buttons if they, it's anything like a sim. Uh, one of the biggest questions I've had is how you can use um, really easy head tracking on uh, the PS4. Do not go out and buy the uh, PS4 camera because it's no good with uh, War Thunder. It's really imprecise, it's laggy, it won't recognize your face, it's difficult. Instead, what you can do is you buy what's called a RII7 Mini. It's a presentation um, controller. It's gyroscopic, so it kind of works like a DualShock. Uh, they're about $15 online. I'll post everything you need. What I did is I bought a clip, and this is a clip that you would clip stuff to your refrigerator. It's magnetic on one side. And what I did is I mounted it so the front of the um, mini is actually pointing here so I can clip it onto the front of a baseball hat. I can clip it onto... Um, my headset or whatever and look around so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to kind of show you how it works so i'll put instructions on what you need and how you need to set up your controls but it's uh it's usually pretty good so what i did is when i want to use and look around i just press my r2 button and then i can look all around and it's a head tracking when i let go of the r2 button it takes the camera straight forward again uh, if you don't have a HOTUS set up, if you're using a DualShock, it doesn't really matter. You can um, just whatever button's easier. I don't care, you know, if it's the R2 button, the L2 button, whatever. Um, it's pretty simple to use. So I'll go back into flight mode and we'll get this started. Okay, so it's going to be kind of hard to do. So I'm going to hold the mouse in one hand and try to film. So you can see as I'm looking around, I'm just pressing the R2. Mouse is looking around. I can see about 340 degrees. Um, I can't quite see all the way behind me, of course, because it's, you know it's, my head's not sticking out of the cockpit. But you can see as I'm pressing it. Now, when I let go of the button, notice it snaps right back to center. So again, when I want to look around, I press the R2. Just look around. If I'm in a dogfight or something, I can look all around, see who's around me, what's below me. Let go of the button, snaps right back to center. I'll put uh, instructions on what you need to set up um, in there and what you need to buy. So I hope this hope helps uh, anyone looking for the PS4 War Thunder head tracking.